Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Little Bigness here, and I am here to bring you our UPA Season 6 Week 1 battle, where we're going up against Survive, the coach of the Dallas Stars, one of my big rivals in this league, honestly. Uh, and I hope you guys saw the team builder, and you know what I'm bringing. Uh, this is a big game, though, because the competition is as fierce as ever, and I want to establish my place, you know, as a good coach in this league. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and send him the challenge. He said he should be ready soon. But, yeah, um, you see what I'm predicting him to bring? I'm predicting the Jirachi Arrow, uh, Forges, Hydreigon, Greninja, and Delmize. Uh, he could bring other things. You never know. Um, all right, he's telling me to check Mega. All right, uh, but... <laughs> um... Here we go. Yeah, we're ready. I think we are ready. Uh, guessing he's probably bringing Mega Arrow because he said that. But I, it's not like I'm going to change my team. Uh, but yeah, Hydreigon's a huge threat to me. Uh, I feel like he might bring a Spadef Jirachi. I'm kind of feeling like that'll come. Fizdef Florges with maybe like a Babiri Berry. Delmize, uh, maybe a Salt Vest to take on Top of Coco a bit better if it's special. Greninja, it's just going to be Life Orb. And uh, Arrow is probably just going to be Standard. And I guess, yeah, yeah. if it's this team composition, Jirachi will be his rocker. I don't see him making Mega Arrow his rocker. So, yeah. I I'm pretty sure he won't be expecting things like Gligar. Um, maybe not even Tornadus. It'll be interesting to see uh, what he thinks, though. So, yeah, now I'm just waiting for him to accept this. Should be soon, though. I'm not in a rush. We're getting this battle started kind of early. Uh, we expected to start in about 20 minutes from now. So, uh, you know, we got a lot of time. We definitely had a lot of time to think about this stuff. Um, or, you know, we got a lot of time to battle after this, you know, because I, I bet we made... Uh, we both made sure we had like an hour of time after that start time in order to be able to battle. Because uh, some of these battles in the UPA take way too long. <laughs> looking at you, Ben. Looking at you, Mets. <laughs> oh, well. Not a big deal. Um, survive. Survive, 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 survive. But yeah, in case you guys don't know, uh, Survive and I... We go way back in this league. Uh, I was a Season 2 member. He's been here since Season 1. Um, I think over that time, we've played each other seven times. And I think I'm 4-3 and three against him. But last season, he didn't really try in the league. So, uh, you know, that was kind of different because he wasn't putting any effort into the battles. So, technically, in real matchups against Survive, I'm 2-3. and three. Uh, He is a very, very good league battler. Uh, he used to be Mr. Every Single League, but now he's kind of toned it down, which is good. Uh, but, uh, yeah, all these battles were really close, too. Like, I remember Season 2, uh, he won because of a Scarf Toxic... Salamence. He, he, he ran a Scarf Toxic Salamence to beat my uh, Cresselia. So he kind of just baited me to switch into that because he knew that was probably what was taking hits from Salamence. And then he clicked Toxic. That, that, that was incredible prep on his part. Um, then that same season in the playoffs, I won because I froze his Tangrowth. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I got most of this right. He's bringing Dunsparce, though. Oh, no. <laughs> no Mega Arrow. So, Gligar is uh, not as valuable. But let me get these Pokemon changed. So, he brings a Blaziken. I really like the Blaziken bring. I think that's a fun one. And then he brings Dunsparce instead of... What I predict, uh, Delmize. Yeah. Alright, so, I feel like I predicted most of the team well, though. Let me get the Delmize. And, what is it? Dunsparce. 
That's awesome that you brought Dunsparce. In case you don't know, uh, Survive's favorite Pokemon is Dunsparce. So, he drafted it because, I mean, that's his boy. So, let's rename... Er, wait, no. I gotta get the link to the battle. Let me do that. Except Survive already got it. Okay. Sweet. See, so, yeah, I think we're all set. Uh... Oh shoot, my uh, window capture is not exactly the best right now. Let me get this. Alright, doing some live editing right here, as always. Um, huh. I like Crawdon a lot in this matchup. Uh, just to take out the fat shit. I love Tapu Koko in this matchup, especially now that Arrow wasn't brought. Um, I'm expecting him to have Water Shuriken on the Greninja. I don't want to lead Tapu Koko. I think I want to lead Gligar because I really want to get my rocks up. He has no way to remove them. And just getting chip damage is always good for things like Tapu Koko and Terrakion. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and lead off with Gligar. I think that's my best way to go. Um, uh, yeah, I'm a fan of this. And Gligar is not really too valuable in this matchup. <laughs> All right, so we're going against my the uh, a dragon. I'll, I'll show you guys why this is funny at some point. Uh, maybe in next week's battle or something like that. I'll just have like a screen of it. So uh, I think I should be able to take hits from Hydreigon pretty well. While well, I'm looking at Gligar uh, against a Hydreigon, uh, if it's Choice Scarf to Draco, will do a lot. Or life orb specs. Uh, I do live every single hit this thing can throw at me, I believe, except for maybe an HP ice. But I'm not exactly expecting that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think I want to go for rocks right here. I, I think that's the way to go. Because just getting my rocks up is nice. I could go for the U turn as well uh, in order to get into the Mantine. But that doesn't really give me much, so I'm going to go for rocks. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I just love reading the chat. I wish I could have the chat open. Maybe I'll have to find some way to edit this layout to make sure the chat can be open. But some of the funny things that are said in this chat are great. Like <laughs> People are like, why didn't Drew bring Arcanine? Uh, Alright, so he does have the Dark Pulse. If he did 38% to me, is he Scarfed? Um... Is he Scarf Modest? I think he's Scarf Modest. That's my best guess right here. So if he is Scarf Modest, doesn't that mean I can go into Terrakion right here and get a Justified Boost? Unless he's like Expert Belt. Eh, that's kind of risky. But I live on the edge. We're going. Let's go Terrakion. Alright, so he went into Greninja. Oh, ooh. Should I show my scarf right here? That's the question. Is this my time to show that I'm scarfed? Hmm. That, that's actually an interesting way to think about it. Because I he might be Scarf Greninja. You never know. Um, I think Mantine's my safe way. Or my safe play right here. Um, he might expect me to switch out because he might not expect me to be scarfed. I really want to play safe right now, early on in the game. In my Mantine Swift Swim, I fucked up. Great. <laughs> Welp. That's awkward. Uh, maybe he'll be fearing like Rain Dance on Tornadus, so you never know. Mantine should still do pretty well against uh, Greninja. That's awkward though. I... Uh, hmm. I think I will go Mantine here. It should be able to still wall the Greninja. Alright, so he goes Forges. Uh, I want to Toxic this. I definitely want to try and drop the Toxic right here. I think that's my best option. And by the way he switched out, it kind of tells me that he is not Scarf. It's kind of my guess. But oh, Okay, so he goes into Dunsparce. 
I really don't know well of what Dunsparce does, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think I'm gonna drop another Toxic, though. Thunder! What? <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> oh, man. Uh... <laughs> that was amazing. I think I want to get Gligar here, because uh, Gligar should be able to take hits from this. Realistically. I want to cop that Dunsparce, actually. Um, if it had Thunder... ...against my man time... It's looking like it's a defensive Dunsparce, I believe. Some sort of defensive special Dunsparce, by the looks of things. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and roost. And I'm parried. <laughs> I kind of expected that, though. Uh, I kind of want to preserve this, though. Not gonna lie, I'm a bit afraid of the uh, Ice Beam right now. Does Dunsparce get Ice Beam? Let's see, Dunsparce. Ice. It does get Ice Beam, yep. I really don't know anything about Dunsparce. Hmm. Alright, I think I might want to go out into the uh, Gligar here. Because Gligar is my most expendable member. Uh, and I can just U-turn out if the Ice Beam does come out, so... Oh, he got me. He got me. He got me. Okay, that's fine, though. I, I'm just gonna roost. I'm not really against a uh, Ice Beam, because I knew it wouldn't do too much damage. He does have a 20% chance to freeze, which is kind of threatening, but... One thing I could do here is U-turn back out into Mantine. But I think I want to Roost. I think that's my better play. Because if Gligar gets frozen, that's not the end of the world. And he goes after Greninja. I'm kind of wondering, uh, can I take a Scald from this range? I'm actually kind of curious about this, uh, against a Greninja. Say it's... Just a Life Orb. Uh, Hydro Pump would knock me out. If he has that. So that means Surf would definitely knock me out. Or, Surf wouldn't knock me out, actually, I don't believe. But Ice Beam would. Yeah, Surf doesn't knock me out. So, Ice Beam would, though. That's the issue. And I think I want to go out into Mantine right here. It's just my response to Greninja. And it is Life Orb. Um... Starachi's threatening. I think I want to go out to Gligar for this, so it can't set up a sub. I guess for Rocks, it's not a big deal. I could U-turn right here, or I could EQ. I've got two options. I think I want to go for the EQ. If he brings in Hydreigon, it's okay. But EQ is what gets damage off, so... He goes Hydreigon, of course. <laughs> Alright, he is, I believe, Scarf Modest, though. So... I think I'll just go for the U-turn. 
Alright, so he went for U-turn as well, so this means I will get some momentum here. Dunsparce comes in. Topic Coco should be able to take out a Dunsparce from this range. Um, yeah, it does take out Spadef Dunsparce under Electric Terrain. So that's good to know. And nothing can really switch into Topic Coco. So I believe I want to go for the T Bolt. Right away. And it's good to know that Greninja's Life Orb, by the way. That's actually really good to know, because that means my Top of Coco does outspeed it. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and click Thunderbolt. And Dunsparce is down. Top of Coco picking up the first kill of the season. Not even bad. I need to find a good, like, a good opportunity to get uh, Crawdon in. <laughs> there goes all the fun of this match. The Dunsparce is out. <laughs> oh, Ben. That's a good thing about the UPA, though. That's one thing I really appreciate about this league. Whenever there's live battles, there's really good support. Alright, uh, Floor Juice is here. It's ready. I think I want a Thunderbolt again. But I kind of want to go for the Volt Switch just to be safe. I am under Electric Terrain, of course, but that doesn't mean much. Moonblast is 48 to 56% against me. So I guess I could go for a Thunderbolt right here. Because that's going to take it down to about 40%. 40, 45%. But I'm leaning towards Volt Switch because I'd like to save this Topic Coco to do some damage to other things. But also weakening this for Terrakion could also be a good thing to do. Maybe I should use Gigavolt Havoc actually. I think Gigavolt Havoc's like a base 175 move. It does 76%. It's just out of range. I think I got a Volt Switch. He went for Protect. He's scouting for that Z-move. He probably knows it's there. I could go for the Gigavolt Havoc right now, but that's also just a bad play because if he goes for Wish, it's kind of over. Um, This is tough to break through. I think we're going to go ahead and Volt Switch. And I think we're going to go out to Mantine. I... Uh, with Mantine, I could click Scald and burn something, or I could Toxic the Florges. I could also defog my rocks away. There's a lot of things I can do. And I think... It, no, no, Jirachi had the rocks, not Del, uh, not Dunsparce, so... Uh, that wouldn't mean that my rocks would be away for the rest of the game. I think I gotta go for the Volt Switch right here. Because the Gigavolt Havoc, I just don't think will do enough. Uh, and I really want to find out what this Forge's set is. And going for a Volt Switch would help me scout out what it is. He was trying to burn my Z-move, obviously, though, by going for Protect. That just shows how threatening Z-moves are to people, though. Like, you have to go for Protect in order to burn that Z-move. Is that really how people are feeling about it? Like, it's just insane how good these Z-moves could be. But that's another reason why we're testing it a lot, you know. We, we didn't want to go too courageous with it and be like, everyone, every Pokemon can get a Z-move. Uh, that did 25%. I want to check this calc really quick. Um, that definitely has some Spadef investment. And it could have a good amount of Spadef investment, too. So that really makes me want to go to Crawdot. But then again, I know that's not the best play. So I'm going to go man time. I'd like to get a free switch into Cronaut. Yeah, he went for the Moon Blast, exactly. So, going to Cronaut there would have been a bad play. Uh, I think we're just going to Roost. <laughs> if I can Roost up, that's good. My man time does a pretty good number to his team. I, I feel like that Blaziken's probably got Thunder Punch. 
Um, clearly I wall Greninja. And I get paralyzed, of course. Um, I think I still want to roost. So I'm not sure what this Jirachi wants to do. But he might want to set up a sub. That's the problem. So I think I do have to go Gligar here. I'm going to save my Manti and make it Death Fodder at this point. Goes for the Thunderbolt. Okay. I could U-turn to try and get some momentum. Because if he's Stealth Rock, U-turn, Thunderbolt, that means he probably isn't a substitute set. Um, and I probably wall him, too. So I think I'm just going to go for the U-turn. See what comes in. He goes for the Icy Wind. Oh, that's nice. Um, at this point though, I think I want to go Tornadus. I wasn't, I wasn't exactly expecting that. Not gonna lie. If he did 44% with Icy Wind, Jirachi. Let's see if he has Icy Wind against the Gligar. How much did it do? It did 44%. So he's definitely got some special attack. Uh, no, maybe not. Um, unless that was a max roll, he has some special attack. And that had to be a max, max roll. So I think he does have some special attack investment, which could be a bit helpful. Uh, I think I want to go Tornadus right now, though. And click uh, Heat Wave. It's got a bit more of what this set has to offer. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, I think I I want to go for Heat Wave. For sure. I know I'm probably getting knocked out by whatever he hits me with. And I am modest, so I should be able to do a lot of damage to something. Nothing really wants to switch into a Tornado, so I'm going to go for the Heat Wave. Plus, that would help my Terrakion quite a bit. Coco is kind of key right now, though. Coco and Terrak are key. I'm going to have to play with offense from now on, though, because that Icy Wind kind of threw me off guard. Thinking maybe I should have Earthquake now, because that would have helped me get into better range or something. Like a Tornadus Heat Wave. Gigavolt Havoc from Top Coco. If Tornadus does go down here though and hit the Heat Wave on the Jirachi, uh, then I can go into Top Coco and click Gigavolt Havoc. So. Or I could straight up click Thunderbolt. Either really works. And I missed the Heat Wave. Of course. Fucking hell. Of course I missed the heat wave. Alright, so Thunderbolt does take me out now. I think I have to sad Gligar. Let's just do it. Does go for the Thunderbolt. But yeah, I'm just sacking it. He missed the Icy Wind. Yes! Justice! <laughs> yes! Yes! I missed a Toxic and a Heat Wave, so I think that's pretty fair. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Survive. <laughs> Still. Um. Yeah, let's do that. And if I didn't... About, what, 45%? Yeah, I did 46% with my Earthquake. See, so yeah, I think this is more on the Spideff side. And I think it is in range of uh, Top Coco Gigavolt Havoc. Uh, so, let's see, Gigavolt. I should put this on the calc instead of, like, Volt Switch. 
This is special. Evil Havoc has a chance to knock out. I'm doubting he has as much uh, special attack investment, though. If he is at, what, 64%? No, he's at 67%. So if he's at 67... That puts him at 271. Odds are in my favor. It's like a 66% chance. That's what it's looking like. I don't think Hydreigon takes it too well either, but... Ah, oh, this is tough. I think I want to go Tornadus, actually. And the reason for this, actually, now that I'm looking at it, this Jirachi does not have recovery. It can only get wished up by Florges. So if Florges is the one I really want to take down, but uh, if I get Chip on this, then that just puts Terrakion in a better position. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Heat Wave, I believe. Or I could click Hurricane, which is kind of risky. Uh, because I'd rather just put some Chip onto the Hydreigon if that wants to come in. So I'm going to go for Heat Wave again. If I miss this, I swear. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's see what he's doing, though. He might switch out into something. He might go into Hydreigon, Florges, one of his offensive threats. Alright, so he goes Blaziken. I feel like Sludge Wave knocks it out from this range. And I'll find out if he's Scarfed, too. Blaziken does get Vacuum Wave, though, actually. But I have no reason to save my Tornadus at this point. So, I think I'll just go for Sludge Wave here. And it does pick up the kill. And I forgot to get Gligar off my screen. And then, let's see. Blaziken, Gligar, Tornadus. Alright, so now, what is he going to bring in? Do I get Terrakion? Or do I go Tapu Koko? I feel like I could go Tapu Koko here. And the reasoning for that is that... Say, um... Uh, say Hydreigon wants to come in. That thing's got Scarf Earth Power. And then I can just go into Man Time. And if not, I'm sacking it. And then I have something that's going to be advantageous against it. So I think Tapu Koko is my best play here. And he goes Hydreigon. That's fine. He might go for the U-turn. I could predict that, but Tapu Koko is too valuable at this point. So I think it, it right now... I uh, my best play is just to sack Mantine. Or I could be bold. But do I want to be bold on this one? I believe the answer is no. <laughs> um I gotta remember I do have Aqua Jet in the back too, which could be helpful against things like Florges. Or Jirachi. I think I gotta go safe and sack Mantine at this point. I could predict the U-turn. I know I could, but... Is it worth it? I feel like Survive is going to predict me to play safe, actually. I kind of want to go for the Volt Switch. Do I go for the Volt Switch? He has Dark Pulse, Draco, U-Turn, and Earth Power. That's probably a set. I don't think anything switches into a Terrakion at this point. So I can always send in my Terrakion if he goes for Earth Power. But I would reveal it's Scarfed. I could always go into Man Time, too. I'm gonna Volt Switch. I'm gonna be bold. He went for Fire Blast. That's an interesting play. I kind of want to go Cronaut here. I kind of want to go Terrakion too, though. I 
He has Fire Blast for my Scizor. That makes sense. Um, let's go Crowdot. Is he Scarf, right? Do I want to risk that? Do I want to risk the Scarf? I calc it and it seemed like Scarf damage. If he drops a Draco on the Cronaut, it, it is what it is. Yeah, no, he is Scarfed. Yeah, I spent my Coco. <laughs> I'm stupid. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go Cronaut here. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and click... Uh, I could click Natural Gift. I could click Knock Off. He might still think his Hydreigon has some viability, though, because it does outspeed the Coco, and it does outspeed the Terrakion. So, I'm going to go for Crab Hammer. I think that's my play. Or do I go for Knock Off? Ah, man! I want to check my Cronach Calcs against uh, Florges. That is if I even outspeed the Florges. It's not that defensive, so i got to keep that into account. Um... Looks like knockoff into Aqua Jet should kill. So let's go for knockoff. I'm a sucker for accuracy. I think that knockoff's just my best play here. I still do have a good sack in man time, and I gotta keep that in mind. I need Crawdot to wreak some havoc, though, against this team right now. Now, Coco's in a really good position, especially if uh, Greninja doesn't have the Water Shuriken. As well as Terrakion is, is in good position if it doesn't have the Water Shuriken. You know, I'm just thinking about it now. My Mantine had Swift Swim, but it hasn't really mattered in the entire battle, which is kind of nice. So let's see. At the end of the day, though, Tapu Koko and Tornadus have kills right now. That's just cool to note. I always like looking at who has the kills, who's getting the kills. And I think it's the offensive threats that I decided to bring. That Heat Wave miss still kind of sucks, but at least I got some justice with that Icy Wind miss. And I didn't miss a Toxic as well, so... If Survive wants to go ahead and complain about the Icy Wind miss, I'll tell him it was justified. <laughs> Come on, Survive. He's probably really wondering what he's got to save. Like, I bet you he's like, do I save the, uh... Do I save the... Hydreigon right here, so it can outspeed everything, even though it doesn't? Or do I save something like Jirachi right here? I do think Cronaut still has some utility. Because having that Aqua Jet's just always nice. So I'm assuming he'd go like Jirachi if, uh, the if the Cronaut knocks something out. I wonder how much a Fire Blast does to me, actually. It shouldn't kill. Yeah, no, Fire Blast definitely doesn't kill. Oh, here we go. Let's see, he went Florges. Knock off. Leftovers are gone. I think I gotta go knock off into Jet. Because Jet should knock it out. Yeah, I mean, if it's defensive, max defense, uh, I knock it out. But the knockoff did too much anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Aqua Jet, and Florges is down. This is exactly what I want Crawdont to do right here. Just come in and break shit. Alright, so I sack Mantine here no matter what. That's definitely my plan. And 
and electric terrain still is up. Actually, my Terrakion, doesn't it sweep? Does my Terrakion sweep, actually, if I get some chip on this Jirachi? I think it does. So, yeah, I think I might just go for Jet right here. Let's do it. I think Jet's my play. Because this Terrakion is Scarfed, and I don't think he realizes it. then again, do I need something to stop Greninja's priority? I think I do. I don't really have anything to stop Greninja's priority. And Aqua Jet is not going to do enough. So, yeah, I think I just go for Aqua Jet right here. And I hope. Now he doesn't have Water Shuriken. Well, let's see. Yeah, that Jirachi killed the Cronon. Now I got to check some Terrakion calcs. Close Combat does, I believe... Enough. Let's do it. Terrakion might sweep right here. It might. It's not for sure at all. I'm going for close combat. If he has Water Shuriken on the Greninja, good prep. And I hope that doesn't happen because that would mean that the Mantine having Swift Swim and me fucking up my prep by accident would screw me over. Straight up what it would mean. Alright, so Jirachi goes down. Now it's just down to Hydreigon and Greninja. He might not think I'm Scarfed. And he might go Hydreigon. I think I'm in good position though. Survive usually doesn't take this long to make his choices, or make his plays. I'm kinda surprised by how long he's taken. He's usually just a quick battler, but that just shows he really cares about this season, which is good. goes Greninja. So do I have to hope for no water shuriken? Let me, let me test this out actually. Greninja. Say it's got 252 life orb. Water shuriken. If it's four hits, I have a chance to live it. So I think I sack Mantine here. Yep. That's my play. Alright. Shout out to screwing up prep. Oh, 
Alright, that sucks. But I have to go Terrakion right here. And I have to hope that he's not modest, which would be a problem. Or that he doesn't get a high amount on Water, Shur uh, on water Shuriken. That, that's my hope right here. Alright. Goes Hydreigon to sack that. Let's get Mantine out of here. Let's get Hydreigon out of here. And I'm sacking Coco. Coco's gone. Okay. And now I go to Rack. Put close combat. That sucks. Because I screw up prep. Fucking hell. Alright. Did I get my water shuriken calx wrong? Because I feel like I got them wrong. Three hits should not have done that much. Oh, did it get like 20 base power? What's up with Water Shuriken? I don't know. The calc's weird. Whatever. Alright, well, GG survive. Uh, you definitely deserve that one. That's what happens when you screw up prep, really. That sucks. Oh well. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Peace.